Hello, my ripe little scrumptious. I can't do it. I can't say ripe little scrumptious tomatoes in good standing and still be like, yeah, I'm a normal human being. Oh crap. So yeah. As you can tell. Oh, by the way, this is part four of Let's Play Space Pirates and Zombies. Currently, I'm just pirates. Not really too zombified yet. I'm sure it'll change. So yeah. Um, today, I'm sure you've noticed that number one I am much 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 more powerful than when you left off that's because I went and lost everything in one part and then I had to spend about two hours getting everything back and when it took me when I finally finished getting all of that back I was like there's no point showing this it's just boring as hell so yeah I just deleted all of it and now we're on this bit I don't actually know what I just agreed to so yeah we're basically once we finish this I'd say ready to take on the um, it's not really a final boss per se, but it's close enough. So yeah, basically I just want to collect a bit more rares. Uh, kill these toxic barrels, obviously. Get a bit more data, maybe level up one more time. And then I'm pretty sure I'm safe enough to take on the epic um, dudes who are trying to stop me from, you know, getting to the next area of this game. Because they're mean, and gits, and mean, and, you know, gits. Didn't I mention they were mean? Hey, you, go get that. Thank you. Okay. You know what, I'm not even concentrating on the stupid things. I'm just kind of running around randomly. I wish you could kind of send these just to take them out because I can't be bothered. It's boring. How many do I actually have to take out? Oh, God, 44 more. You're kidding me, right? No, no, I got too close to that. Thank God it didn't blow up. Yeah, that's a problem I have with these toxic barrels. I always end up blowing them up in my spaceship's faces because they're not smart enough to figure out. Exploding toxic barrel, bad. So I have to be like, yeah, don't go near there, otherwise, you know, blow up. And I end up losing a ton of rares. This is actually how I lost them all. I exploded every one of my spaceships at once in this thing about three times. And so in the end, I didn't actually have any barrels left. I mean, not any barrels left, any res left. And I was completely dead, basically. Definitely not my one of my best moments. That's probably one of the reasons why I didn't show it. Sounds reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah, thought I did. Anyway, what level actually is my research on? Can I just take it on now because it's taking too long? Yeah, could probably take it on now. Screw it. Screw it. Can't be asked. I cannot be asked. Cannot be freaking asked. Okay, we're taking on the end game type peoples. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's the first gate we need to get across. The UTA ships are loaded down with warp inhibitors, so we'll need to wipe out every last one of the bastards before we can access the warp network. We should expect similar blockades at every warp gate between us and the core. I added the bastards for effect. Pretty cool, eh? I know, I'm not just a pretty face, but that is one of the things I am. Come on, let's kick these guys' asses. Okay, that thing. That thing is not nice. If you can kill it, though, you will get a um, new watch call, a new blueprint, which is pretty badass. If I can kill it, that is. So they're basically concentrating on the bigger things, which, you know, aren't so easy to take down. I'll just appear right behind it in about 10 seconds. I can't bother moving. On and on and keep on winning. We're gonna kick some ass. Hurry up, come back to life, my ship of awesomeness. Okay, it's back to life. Kicking ass time. Hopefully he doesn't kill that ship before I finish it off. Okay, that hope was completely pointless. If I can just kill this thing. It's very nearly dead. Here it goes. Here it goes. And I've killed it. Oh crap! I got caught in the chain reaction. Brilliant. It's damn brilliant. Bloody brilliant, isn't it? You know, it's amazing. I'm gonna have to go hunting goons now. I guess I could just zoom out like that and grab them all. Okay, I'll just pick up all these goons now because I've not got any. Yeah, this is pretty useful when you know you need something really badly. So you just zoom right out. 
and you can just go around collecting whatever it is you particularly need really freaking badly. No, I don't want to clear the warp gate yet. I need to grab all those. Damn it. That's the last of the bastards. Unfortunately, from this moment on, it gets nothing but harder. If we're going to survive, the pirate's life for me. Ho, 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 in a bottle of rum is all we have the luxury of now. The warp gate is back online. So let's heat up the warp capacity instead of course. We'll all be far, far, far away from here in not too long. It's time we moved on. Oh, we've been here far too long. Now nah, I've preferred my lines. My lines are kick ass. So yeah, let's zoom back out. Grab all these. We grab that. See if I can grab some res as well. Need a bit more. Nah, yeah, screw it. There we are. Got all we need now. I guess I can just blast off now. Like Team Rock is blasting off again, crap. Yay. Did I lose that much res? I actually didn't lose that much res, did I? Kick ass. Did I actually level up in research? No. That sucks. So let's go to the star map and... Yes, I know how the star map works. Anybody with half a brain could figure out how this star map works. Oh, we can buy stuff. Not really the best stuff. Anyway, in this one, we'll probably be uh, fighting for the UTA. Oh, I think it's Top Biscuit's time to talk. Nope. Ah, well. I can't... Oh, wait. I can't believe we actually cracked the gate. I haven't left home since I was a kid, before the UTA locked down the other fringe worlds. An impressive, as impressive as it may be to you, this is elementary compared to what's ahead. When doing projects for the UTA, we come across the Titan class warp gates. Only the UTA flagships was able to power them, but we never saw them get used. Supposedly they used a massive emitter called the Titan Beam to generate the energy required. I'm sure by now there are dozens of Titan gets between us and the core. Sadly, your optimism has little merit, as we currently have no way to open them. Well, that was a nice story, but I assume you have a plan to remedy our technical shortcomings, right? Indeed. The Titan Beam mecha uh, mechanism isn't beyond my understanding, but acquiring the parts will be problematic. The first thing we need is a focus crystal suitable to emit the beam. I'm going to need to uh, do some local scans. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to... Uh, I wouldn't expect the civilian science base in this system to be very hospitable. I have soured. I have a soured relationship with them. Why? On the other hand, Admiral Jameson is posted at the UTA base in this system, and he owes me a favor. Admiral Admiral Jameson, have you gone bad shit crazy? Don't you remember the other day when we destroyed a whole pile of UTA attack ships? All that pew pew pewing and explosions. Remember? There, I end up having sex with her as well. Damn it. Am I Don Gibson? Mm -mm. Cows ride on this one. These UTA colonies are so isolated as everyone as are as isolated as everyone else. They have no clue what's going on beyond their gates. I've been uh, I've seen these UTA operations long enough to realise they are anything but organised. They go months without supply drops and turn to freelancers and mercenaries to make ends meet. I would bet there are several um, UTA colonies that are in similar well, similar 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 rough shape. It's worth checking out, but carefully. Sure yeah, I'm not paying attention, screw you. So yeah, I think there'll be a bit more talking, and then I'll never have to talk in this stupid game again. Oh, those days will be good days, when I no longer have to talk. Stupid talking. Doing commentaries and just said stupid talking. How smart am I? Am I only going at 15 frames per second? No, 17 now. Still crap. Mm. So yeah, let's just zoom out quickly. Zoom back in, zoom out, zoom in. Okay. So what do I want to do now? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly upgrade my to a kick-ass ship. New kick-ass ship. Our old ship's kicked ass, but this ship kicks more ass. There we are. Kick our shit for the win. Um, just that, I guess. It's cost quite a bit of res to build, doesn't it? Um, let's see, what's best? I think that's the one equipped. No, it's not. That's the one equipped, isn't it? I think that one's the best one. Uses less power and all that. Basic tracks beams. I don't think I have any better ones anyway. One minute. 
Um, none that were actually better than the ones that one is. Let's check out my um, other torpedoes. Does more damage, but it doesn't fire quite as fast in the actual these crap. Yeah, I remember those, those are rubbish. So yeah, I actually kind of like the way it is at the moment. And it's got armor plates on it as well. Can I actually put armor plates on these guys? Yeah, I think they've already got it though. Best armor plates we've got at the moment anyway. So yeah, we're just re-equipping now, so let's refit. We have a bit less res, but we're going to have a kick-ass ship at the end of it. I think I'm actually just going to show off this ship and then end the part. This will be the only part I'm doing for today, basically, because I want to post a bit of spaz tomorrow, anyway. And tomorrow I'll be able to po I'll be able to do a lot more recording because I'll have a lot more time to record because I'm off school on Thursday. Because for some unknown reason, I said because way too much then. Because for some unknown reason, my um, teachers are like, "Yeah, we're going to strike." And they'll also this. Thing. Um, this ship kicks ass. Look, I can shoot missiles now. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot missiles like you've never shot missiles before. Shoot missiles some more. Also, there's actually a decent amount of armor on it. And also, I think it's turned that way, isn't it? I guess you can kind of run this ship either way. Well, you'd have to press downwards to go forwards, though. So I guess you couldn't really, but you know. It's a pretty kick-ass ship. It's got better armor, better shields, better weapons, better everything. It's just all around better. Also, it can hold much, 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 much more passengers than anything I used to have a could anyway. And more res. Okay. So, yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little thing in the VOB. Also, I still haven't shown this tactic screen, have I? I can just go, weep. You're going there. Wait a minute, weep. You're going... Oh, come on, I keep messing up. You click on him, and you go... Wait, I've messed up again. So I just... Oh yeah, do that. And I go... You're going... Oh, screw it, screw it. Show you another time. Show you when I actually need to show you. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.